Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm a mess. Yesterday I went to Snapchat and Instagram and asked you guys to ask me questions for November's q and I can't believe we're already in November. I feel like New Year's was not that long ago, but the exciting part is November is my birthday month. I've always loved November, like November and December, that's my shit. Like love the weather, love like the vibes, like the fall vibes, very like cozy, sweaters, cute. So I went ahead and pulled a few questions. If you would like to be a part of next month's Q&A, go ahead and follow me on all of my social media. Those are in the description for you. Someone wants to know, how do you feel about paranormal stuff? I don't really believe in it. I don't believe in like, a god or a god or any kind of religious thing i feel like after death you just die so i don't think people are like on this earth like lingering but then people who i like genuinely like respect and like value what they have to say always have fucking paranormal stories and i'm like there's no way you're just fucking lying to my face right now like you know, some of it can be explained, but some of it can't. I don't know, who, who really knows what's going on? There's so many theories out there about like, what happens after you die and like, where do you go? And it's just like, I don't know, no one really knows. Cause you can't like die and then come back and like tell everyone. Someone wants to know, how do you deal with the unrealistic beauty standards society puts on trans women? Um, I don't listen to it. <laughs> Every trans person is different, um, I think the mold and the pressure that society puts on trans women most of them that's what they want so it doesn't seem like a lot of pressure and like m the majority of trans girls enjoy being like really feminine and i feel like i've talked about this a lot on my channel recently and i just want to stress to you guys like i am not jealous um envious i'm not hating i'm not any of those things towards trans women in specific who are super super feminine and super passable and super like all of these things like i don't care like i always say i always say i always say and i say this a billion billion times if that's your thing like please do it like i want you to like do whatever you have to do that's just not me and unfortunately it goes against what is set for me and I mean, that sucks, but I'm not gonna like be a fake person. I feel like I tried to do that in the beginning and I just wasn't happy. I'm not, I'm not super happy being like really, really feminine. I just like being like how I am. Like, yes, I'm a girl. Like I, I, I'm happy that I transitioned and I would never want to be a boy again, but I don't enjoy being like a feminine girl. I just enjoy being like myself. Someone wants to know when you were younger, what did you see yourself being when you grew up? Honestly, I thought like something in entertainment, like I really was obsessed with game shows when I was younger. I would always watch the game show network and I was obsessed with like that kind of stuff. So I was like, you know, maybe one day I'll be like a game show host or I was always obsessed with just being like not even famous. I feel like when I was really young, I was like, yeah, I want to be a superstar, da, 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 da. But I've always just been really interested in like doing something in front of the public eye, whether that be like hosting my own talk show or like having a YouTube channel, obviously, being a game show host. Like I always just had this idea that I would be doing something that had to do with like entertainment or like news or like, I just wanted to be like visible. And I guess maybe that comes from like my childhood and like not feeling visible and like, I don't know, we could get really deep into that, but that sounds really scary. I don't, I just, I'm gonna stop right there. All right, this is a three in one. Favorite thing about yourself, favorite food, and will I ever come to Vancouver? Favorite thing about myself, my hair and my lips. As far as like mentally goes, I feel like I'm really smart and I really think things through most of the time. I'm also just a really caring person. Like I really care about everyone and the earth. Favorite food, love sushi. Sushi and macaroni and cheese is like my two like favorite things. Will I ever come to Vancouver? Maybe, probably. I'd like to visit Canada. That's where Vancouver is, right? Canada? Yeah, I'd love to come to Canada. It sounds um, like really fucking chill and cool. And Gigi's from there, so like all of our, all of, we could just all go visit our trans mom. Someone wants to know basically the issues that come with being in an interracial relationship. Do we really get slack? I don't think in public. Also, we always joke about this all the time, but people stare at us a lot in public. 
And we're always like, well, it could be like five things. They could be clocking in me. They could be looking at me because I'm tall. They could be looking at us because we're an interracial couple. Like there's just so many things that people could judge us for. So we never know. So it's kind of hard to like pinpoint. Um, but as far as family goes, like his family loves me. I love his family. My family is like obsessed with him. So I'm we, not family wise. And in the general public, we don't know because... I'm, he's dating a walking freak show, so we never know why people are staring at us. Do you and your boyfriend have any holiday traditions? Well, last Christmas was like the first holiday season that we spent together, because like the year before that, we weren't together. Or were we? No, we weren't together. We had taken a break. But last year, we like went to my parents' house. There's pictures on my Instagram if you want to see. But we had this huge Christmas. They bought us a bunch of stuff for our apartment which was so nice. I really just enjoyed like having him over there and us just like all hanging out. Like we go over to my parents' house a lot just because I love like having him around my family because I love my family, I love him. Like I just love having it all together. <laughs> my birthday is this month on the 15th and it's my 21st birthday, super excited about that. But last year for my birthday, we went out to eat together and that was super fun. So definitely want to do that again. Uh, most kids want to like turn 21 and like go get drunk and da 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 da. I just want to like smoke a blunt and then go eat, so. Someone wants to know what is your favorite Lana song off of every album? For Born to Die, my favorite song off of that album is Off to the Races. For Paradise, really love Cola. From Ultraviolence, Pretty When You Cry. Honeymoon, Freak. And Lust for Life cherry god oh, that just gave me chills all of those albums are so good and those are like my first favorites that come to mind i promise like i love almost every song on those albums and if i sat down my answers would probably change but that's the first thing that comes to my brain and i'm going to see her in february so i'm super excited um she's like my favorite artist she's gotten me through so much stuff and i feel like every trans girl is like lana is my idol but like i mean i can't help it even if it's a stereotype lana del rey like her music, I don't know, it just speaks to me. I don't know, I don't know what it is. And last question, someone wants to know what would I be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube? Probably, honestly, dead. <laughs> Before I started doing YouTube, I was so depressed, like I'm still depressed, but way more than I am now. YouTube's definitely given me something to fucking do. Like in my spare time, I'm always thinking of new ideas, filming, editing, putting art together, all that kind of stuff. I love interacting with you guys. And also I feel like it just gives me a purpose. It gives me like purpose that I know that every video I put out is like making someone stay better or helping someone that is so important to me. And back to what I thought I was gonna be when I got older is always been entertaining people. So the fact that I can do that is really cool. And I feel like if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would be like trying to do YouTube. Like YouTube is just like, my thing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be trying to upload a lot this month because I really love November. I kinda wanna do a video every day. Don't quote me on it because every time I make a promise, I never come through, but I really am gonna try to do a video every day. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of them. Like I said, all of my social media in the description, especially Instagram, love following and looking through you guys' pictures on there, talking to you guys, Snapchat too, love Snapchat. Twitter is like kind of its own island. Like I don't really get on Twitter. I just retweet a lot of things. So if you like funny stuff, follow me on Twitter. But Snapchat is the best way if you wanna talk to me. Like if you want me to fucking message you, message me on Snapchat because it's so hard for me to open a message and not reply. I feel like that's so rude. And I do it sometimes, but. <laughs> I will most likely reply on Snapchat. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.